Hello everybody, hope we're all good. Big shout out to KR Couriers and Transport Limited. And a big thank you to everyone who likes, shares, comments and subscribes to the All or Nothing podcast with myself, Billy Moore. Okay, so I'm here up in Cornwall, in Newquay. I believe it's beautiful, I've never been here. Got me dogs with me. <laughs> You want to introduce my audience to Paul, to yeah, yourself, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let them know who you are. You're yeah. from Cornwall? Cornwall, but really I come from not not far from from where you come from. Did I feel I'm from? I'm from the other side. David? No, North Yorkshire. Okay, so he's... Do you know a place called Thirst? Thirst? No, I've never heard of it. Do you know York? No. Not too sure of it. You don't know York? Hello, you boy. lie! Don't you <laughs> kid me! Don't, don't you no, have yeah. me on! He's gonna, he's gonna attack me in a minute. I do yeah. know York, yeah. But, uh, that's where I come from, North Yorkshire. Is it? Yeah, yeah. How was your cat anyhow? <laughs> You've got a cat now, haven't you? Have I? Yeah. Who said this that? This bit of bum, bum fluff here. Yeah, he's on it. <laughs> okay, climb over there. Yeah, yeah. Roll yeah, it off me. Okay, but, so we're Paul. Paul, have you been on TV? Yes, I have. Yeah, quite a lot of times. You've got some incredible tattoos yeah, here. I've done all the TV programmes. I've got papers in the Daily Mirror, the World News. Uh, I do uh, the Oscar Guinness Book of Records. I'm famous all over the world now. Tell us your name. Paul Kitson. Paul Kitson? Yeah. And how long have you had these tattoos? Since I was, I was about 19. And how old are you now, Paul? <laughs> have a guess. I'd say 35. Get lost. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 66. 66? 66, You yeah. look well. You're yeah, still yeah, fresh. Yeah. You've cut your ear off. Yeah. Well, how, did, how did you do that? That's well, chopper. That's I've chopper gear. Made, made these too big. So it split. So when I had it stitched back up, I didn't like it. And it all healed up. Then I got thinking, just cut the rest of the ear off of, of myself. Was that painful? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Did I bleed? So what do you do with yourself now, Paul? I am, I am retired. Have you? Yeah, pensioner. You're not a pensioner yet? Yeah? I am. <laughs> How old have you got to be to be a pensioner? 66. Okay, so you just touched yeah, pensioner yeah, gear, yeah, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when are you going back up north then? Soon. When? When soon? Maybe tomorrow. Oh yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe You'll tomorrow. you have fun, fun with this then. But you know what? what? It's been a pleasure meeting you, it yeah, really yeah. has. And thank yeah. you for your time. Yeah, it's all right. Name that shop after me, Fat Willie. Hello, Clive. Hi, uh, Just bumped into you. So you're homeless on the streets of yeah. Cornwall. Yeah. Tell us what happened. I uh, just, long story, just trouble upstairs, like past memories and things like that. Well, suffer upstairs. Like, past memories? Like, yeah, past memories, loss of a pirate man. Was you addicted to anything? I have been, yeah. What was you addicted to? Heroin, amphetamines, yeah. And how was your addiction now? I'm uh, stable, yeah. Stable? Yeah, yeah, I'm not, no, no, no you're addiction on, at the moment. You're no. on medication? Yeah. Subutex, methadone? No, not at the moment. I have been in the past. I'm free at the moment, like, uh, medication, like, yeah. So how long have you been on the streets for, Clive? Oh, years on and off. Yeah, I walk out of places when when I get a place because I get totally haunted, like... So you get tormented upstairs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I so think, I, yeah. I leave them when I make, get a place because I suffer upstairs mentally, right, and then I walk out of them. The paranoia but, kicks in? Yeah, the paranoia and anxiety and all that sort of thing, yeah. No, not nice. So where are you sleeping tonight? Ten Satters. Yeah. Yeah. So you're okay? Yeah. I like your tattoos. Ah, oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah. When did you get them done? Uh, definitely a lot of them. Yeah? Yeah. Let's have a look at the one on top of your head. Wow. You've got them all over you, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Well, I didn't realise how beautiful our country really is. Look at this. It's absolutely glorious. It's lovely. It's amazing. 
I've got those words. <laughs> Amazing, glorious, fabulous, incredulous. Yeah, but look, it is, it is nice life. So I'm speaking to Jack, Jack's with his little dog. Hello, mate. So Jack, you've lived up here for four years. Yeah. You haven't left. I've just asked you a question. What do you, you know, what do you think of Cornwall? Uh, it's lovely. Wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Um, kind of, yeah, moved here four years ago and haven't, haven't moved. So it kind of proves the pudding, really. Yeah. A lot of people in. Is there any, is there any violence or gang culture or drug dealing? Have you come across any um, of that? Um, not personally. I think there's stuff around UK. Um, but like any old town, really, effectively. But it's not um, as visible. Not as visible. No, no. I right. think it's one of those things. It's like anywhere. If you go looking for it, you might find it. It's, but, a, bit, it's a bit taboo here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think a lot of people just are like-minded here, so they kind of move here for the same reason. So it's pretty chill, to be honest. So in one out of ten, I'd give it a nine. Well, nine there you go. Room to improve, but yeah, solid nine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> solid nine. Sure. Thanks, Jack. <laughs> nice one. Have a good one. Riding the waves. Hello, so this is Harry. Harry is a surfer, as you can see. So, Harry, tell us about your experience uh, surfing on the Atlantic coast. Uh, so I've been surfing since I was three years old, I'm 27 now, grew up in the water, my um, brother surfs, whole family surf, lifeguards, I think we've just been immersed in it from a young age, yeah. so we had no choice, you know, <laughs> that was it. Have you ever come across any accidents or serious injuries? Uh, yeah, definitely seen a few accidents, but um, a lot of surfers are first aid trained and lifeguard trained. Mm -hmm. And when you surf, you always look out for one another. Yeah, you know, is. if someone catches a wave, you're kind of constantly having a look, you're always browsing, you know, just to make sure everyone's safe because it only takes one knock to the head, and you know, to cause injury or death, you know, so. What would you say to someone who swallows a wave? How do you mean swallows a wave? My cousin swallowed a wave. <laughs> what, got one on the head? <laughs> I just swallowed it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, close your mouth, it's probably a good way to go. <laughs> there you go, there's a good, there's a good piece of advice. <laughs> Thanks, Harry, for your time. Mate. I'll go check out a little breakfast in Cornwall. I've got to get a Cornish pasty as well. <laughs> That's a must. It's an additional Cornish breakfast, I think. A bit of haggis. Homemade beans. Let's get this a go. Check this out, the church is currently locked, unfortunately. However, what we would like otherwise, we are unable to open 24-7. If you would like to go into the church, please pop into the farmer's arms, the pub on the corner, and ask to borrow. Got the keys of the staff in the farmer's arms. Let's go and explore inside this wonderful church. This is the portrait.
Just met a lovely woman there called Jackie. She's in her 80s. She came into the church while I was in there. Shit myself to be honest. <laughs> but she said, look, she told me a little bit about the history and that they've got a well-being garden just off the church grounds that no one knows about. So this is the old RAF airbase. A few old planes left on the side next to the hangars. It's an incredible view, it's something you'd see in a movie. It's amazing. No one's about either. Literally empty. You see one car with a lady and she did look at me a little bit funny like don't blame her coming on a runway <laughs> driving down a runway pretty pretty bizarre but anyway there you go I've been in a few of them. Yeah? Yep. Wow. So this guy has found a system that helps you, you know, remove handcuffs, basically. This is his business. Could have done with your help a few years back. <laughs> Removing British standard handcuffs. Wow. Piece of piss, isn't it? And there's another technique. And you're free. There you go. Yeah, traditional Cornish. Did you make that yourself? The company made it and they deliver them to us. Brilliant. Looking forward to this, mate. It's massive. On my way back home, once again, thanks for watching. I appreciate all your support.